Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Erin Miller. I am a content creator and I do a lot of millennial nostalgia, 90s, early 2000s content. I'm gonna go through my 90s, early 2000s props. This might be two parts, three parts. I have a lot. I don't want each video to be too long. So I'm gonna start by just going through one bin of stuff and we'll see where we're at. 95% of these were found on eBay Poshmark. There's a couple things that are actually mine from when I was a kid. One of them being these Pogs, my Pog collection. You traded my soul for Pogs? I don't even remember how to play Pogs. It seems like a fever dream. I have a bunch of slammers. I have a bunch that I made myself. Did you guys make your own Pogs? Like this is definitely one I made myself. <sighs> It's like chocolate, what? Next up we have a Goosebumps mask. I was obsessed with Goosebumps. It genuinely scared me when I was a kid in the 90s. And this is from the infamous Haunted Mask episode. What was her name, Carly? Carly Beth, what is it? A mask, it, it won't come on. I got this for a Halloween like 90s skit. These squishy dolphin lamps. Do you guys remember these? I, this is probably from Claire's the phase where we were all obsessed with dolphins and wanted to be marine biologists. This dolphin sculpture. Hashtag art. <laughs> the clueless phone. Oh, as if. You could feel very cool, kind of like Britney Spears. <laughs> if you had this, let me know because I was jealous of you. I have a pink CD player for skits. When I was younger, I just had like a giant black boom box. <laughs> Do you guys remember these? Remember that video of that girl where it goes in the fireplace? Let's try to do it. I'm probably gonna poke my eye out. Okay, wait, hold on. Oh, okay. Who remembers these from the 90s? Wow, still blows my mind. What? One big mystery extreme sound bites sound bites and it makes sound and music inside your head i tried this and it was hard to like hear the music in your head kind of stupid but <laughs> these little charm boxes that you would get at claire's another little charm box from claire's my life 2000 dear diary this is another rare item that was actually mine growing up what I would do to be able to remember my password, I put new batteries in it and I tried to remember my password for like an hour. A bedroom doorbell. Never had one, always wanted one. These dolphin lamps turn on and it would rotate. Very cool, very soothing. It was our form of meditation back in the day. A recorder, had to do a skit on a recorder. What was the one song we would learn? No, 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 not good enough. Obviously we got some phones. I really should get one of the clear ones. That would be awesome. Obviously a disc man. These are all of my CDs. We got 3LW, Dream, Destiny's Child, Britney Spears, Ashley Simpson, NSYNC, Bewitched. This was my very first CD, Bewitched. Backstreet Boys, Charlie's Angels, Alicia Keys, 98 Degrees, Savage Garden, Will Smith, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Random, but this little hula dancer, I got this uh, in Hawaii, and this was actually on my dashboard in my car in high school. I had a red Dodge Neon. Does anybody remember these? This is actually mine. Growing up, uh, these little magnetic games. I mean, this is janky snakes and ladders and then all of the like pieces are in this and they're magnetic and it comes with little dice phone book the new phone book's here the new phone book's here this one is from 2001 to 2002 classic do they still make phone books i mean genuine question do they still make these i have a pack of stick on earrings that is so fetch they would stay on your ears for 0 0.002 seconds and then end up in your hair yak back do you guys remember these oh. Hey. Oh, it still has a, I said, hey, loser in a skit. I have a whole thing of Playboy, that's tanning lotion that's on here, for Playboy bunny stickers for, you know, 
mid 2000s skits about tanning. The proof is in the tan. Wow. Candy cigarettes. I love my candy cigarettes. these stickers i got a whole stack off of like etsy um let's see here this one really unlocks a memory that specific one i remember i'd be at like a pizza hut and they would have you know this sticker vending machine i'd be like mom can i please have 50 cents for a sticker a random mcdonald's toy this little soccer game <laughs> random i got random things these little rubber chain purses that you would like squeeze and it would open Definitely had one of these. Eh. Apparently they don't work that great. Coca-Cola lip snackers. Vanilla. Mmm. Tamagotchi, of course. If it isn't Tamagotchi, her new favorite pet. Yes! I put batteries in this and they like don't turn off. The thing was like going off every half hour. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? Did, is that what I dealt with when I had one of these in the 90s? It's very annoying. Two of a kind, Mary Kate and Ashley book. The way I was obsessed and still am obsessed with Mary Kate and Ashley. What's all the noise about? What's all the noise about? A Disney Adventures magazine for kids. This is from, what year we got? 1997. I have one of these pens where we would try to push down every single color. What, like it's hard? A little Gumby. We'll go through my Jan Sport backpack. Okay, so nostalgic item, numero uno. I had to get one of these lizard beaded keychains. I have some Lisa Frank stuff. Who wasn't obsessed with Lisa Frank? Lisa Frank folder, Lisa Frank binder. Oh my gosh, this bottle cap belt. My space maker. Let's see what we got in here. I made one of these little fortune teller things. Remember doing these at school in class. Pick a color, B-L-U-E, pick a number. I have a little folded note. Folding notes was such a big part of childhood and passing notes in class. Bring that note up to me. Ooh. I had a whole shoe box of all my notes and I threw it away like 15 years ago. I'm an idiot! I have a bunch of jelly rolls. The best pen ever. Little pumpkin erasers that you would get at like the Scholastic Book Fair. I could only ever like afford an eraser. I have all my Lisa Frank stickers inside my space maker. We'll stop it there and I'll definitely do a part two, uh, maybe even a part three, going over more like fashion items from the 90s, early 2000s that I have and purses and shoes and hair stuff and accessories like that. So stay tuned for that. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you wanna hang out. I share not just nostalgic content, um, but I do all sorts of things, hair, everyday life, fashion, beauty, skincare, everything. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.